This video is sponsored by Notion. Hello, welcome to our first vlog. Today, I'm so, so excited. We're finally getting to do something that has been almost 48 weeks in the making. My final tray. My Invisalign program was 24 trays, two weeks per tray, partway through. Dentist said my progress was so good that I could switch to 10 days per tray. Second best day to this day. So I basically will be starting and ending this whole program over the course of COVID, which weirdly was maybe like the best time to do Invisalign for many reasons. The straightness of your teeth is definitely one of those things where you notice it a lot more than the people around you, or at least that's how I think. In the travel vlog that I recently posted of our last trip before COVID, while I was editing it, I was like, oh my gosh, my teeth have changed so much. So I will say if you wanna do something like this, definitely top priority is to do it for yourself because the truth is our people around you might not actually notice. This is my lower jaw. So straight and neat. And the upper jaw, this is its final form. You can see the little notches that are on the teeth which are replicated on my own teeth and it just helps to guide and lock everything into the right spot. And if you're worried about pain, then the recommendation is to switch right before you go to sleep so you can sleep through the first eight hours and be ready to go the next day. Dan has not been impressed with me hoarding all of these in the lower cabinet, so he'll be thrilled that I'm throwing them out today. Out of curiosity, I kind of want to find number one. Oh my gosh. Here's the tray I just took out for my lower teeth, my second last tray. And here is where it started. It is just the arc, the alignment is a completely different structure. Crazy. Okay, top teeth. The most aesthetically noticeable thing back when I started was also this tooth was sticking out a lot because this tooth behind it was starting to like tuck in behind. Oh man, that's satisfying. Yes, we did it. So now I'm just gonna have these ones in for 10 days and then I need to make an appointment with my dentist to have a more sturdy long-term version made that I'll only wear at nighttime for the rest of my life to lock in the investment that was spent on my teeth. Uh, I'm so proud of myself for sticking to it though. It feels good to reach the finish line. Yeah. Although there was a DM I got of someone who got their Invisalign deadline extended four times. Really hope that doesn't happen to me. My heart hurts just thinking about it. I recently bought a bunch of items from Yamazaki Home that makes cleaning the kitchen easier and cooking a little bit more pleasant and organized. Today, the last of the items arrived. This is one of them, which is like a lid holder as well as a spatula holder so that you don't have any lying around on the countertop while you're working. I got this shelf, which is designed to fit these little spice containers perfectly. This one has our sugar. It even comes with a little built-in teaspoon. So satisfying. I get to label them today. I get to use my label maker. These ones I just rinsed, but they're like a skinnier version that's gonna go in beside it. And then Dan and I went to the dollar store, picked up these smaller ones that also fit on the shelf. We're gonna put various spices in them. So they're all easy and within reach and also off the counter. I admit I did go a little Yamazaki home crazy because I also bought this magnetic shelf. That's how it's sticking to the fridge. It's got two loops where you could hang towels, paper towels, measuring items. There's six hooks that can hold various tools. Up here is a shelf with a bar. So you could put tall items here even like aluminum foil, but since we have our microwave up here, I have to keep everyone short. Every time I'm in the kitchen, this becomes Sagwa's little rest so that she can see what's going on with us. Once every few weeks, we've been giving Sagwa a bath so her fur is all beautiful and white. We use a two-in-one conditioning shampoo that is meant for cats. 
once Dan and I did it together, once Dan bathed her alone. Today I'm gonna try for the alone. Baby, you're all good. Can you shut the door? Okay. Huh? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Dan and I are about to head out for some Saturday errands and I get to try a new face mask that I got in the mail. So this company, Humankind, sent an antibacterial performance mask. Reusable, breathable, recyclable, 99% antibacterial, the most comfortable mask in the world. So these are all very bold claims. Comes in a couple of different colors. I got brown because I thought it would be a nice neutral that adds a little dimension. So it is a very interesting material from like a fabric perspective. I'm super intrigued. And I'll let you guys know how I do today with this new mask. It's Wendy's Barbershop. We are open roughly once a month. I just use a kit from the drugstore, uh, but the cuts are free. Whew. We cut a lot of hair today. <laughs> popping in here to talk about this video sponsor, Notion. If you haven't heard of Notion before, it is a really excellent tool for not only team collaboration, but also keeping track of your own notes independently. If you do a quick search of Notion tutorials on YouTube, you will see so many of people sharing how they use it for school and for work. Personally, why I love it for myself and for my team is that everything you put into it becomes searchable. You can customize the layout so you can view it in a way that's easy to use. Everybody can find the info they need very quickly so you save time, you improve productivity. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know that organization gives me so much energy. And so having a good system on Notion has just been like ugh, the juice. I'll give you a quick tour of the ways I've been using Notion. So I use it to share schedules for videos as well as checklists for everything that goes into the video. And I'll use it to share ideas with my team. But then you could change the layout so that now you can see what it looks like in a calendar format. You can also look at stuff in a table view. I'll pull up my podcast tracker. You can see by the status clearly what is the progress level on each episode. And if you guys didn't know about my podcast, I'll put a link in the description for you to catch up and listen. And do. It is called Fortune Cookie with Wendy. For individual use, this is the stuff that like extra excited me. Last year, I made it a personal goal to improve my ability to cook Chinese recipes. All the recipes and notes used to be scattered across notes on my iPhone, a whole bunch of tabs in a browser that I would never close because I need to make sure I kept them forever. And Notion came through. So I have this one workspace called Family Recipes and this is where I keep track of all the recipes that I've cooked before and want to keep cooking just so I can refresh my memory. They're all here. I title them, I classify what cuisine they are, what type of food they are so that I can choose based on my mood or need. All of them I know how long they take as well as, yes, the special ingredients. All of these are created with the exact same template that I made. So their layout is the same and it's just so much easier to read because it's all organized in the way that my brain works. There's so many other ways you could use Notion. Like I have another workspace that just keeps track of notes that I've made from all these parenting books that I've been reading so I don't forget. So yeah, if you wanna give Notion a try, there's a sign up link in the description. I'll also put some screenshots of how I organize my Notion in case that helps you with getting a head start into figuring out your layout. And if you're already familiar with Notion and you love it, please let me know in the comments. Also feel free to share how you use it because it's kind of just been an expanding world for me and I really enjoy seeing how other people organize and it gives me good ideas. So thank you Notion for sponsoring this video and you're probably gonna see a lot more of it popping in and out as I cook and organize things. 
and just try to feel like I have my life together. Okay, a few weeks ago, I shared on my Instagram that I made my own dumplings. Well, the only part that I don't make is the skins. I need to get on that level still. But I promised that I would share the recipe with you guys. When it comes to dumplings, there are so many different ways to make them and you'll find in different cultures, they have different preferences. Mine are gonna be pork and chives, which is just kind of more of a classic flavor within my own family. The only one that I think is not available at a standard grocery store is these Chinese chives. You can use green onion instead, but the chives it just have such a nice aromatic taste. The first step is the most tedious, especially since I don't own a food processor. This is like three quarters of a Napa cabbage, which is roughly enough, and I just need to finely shred it, as well as squeeze all the excess moisture out of it. Ready to start mixing it up. them in a pan and I actually am saving a bunch of these for my brother as just like a little birthday treat so anything that's left over Dan and I will enjoy for dinner This morning I'm heading out to my healthcare appointment. I'm using a midwife, so we've been doing our regular checkups just to make sure everything's going along healthily. I'm gonna be wearing my Humankind mask, which I washed by hand last night. It's pretty comfortable. actually quite a busy week and now Dan and I are in the middle of redoing our whole place so that we have some sound and light separation for different areas of the home in order to have a baby here um, but since those last clips were shot um, there was that really horrible shooting in Atlanta and I just wanted to come on here and say that if you are part of the Asian American Pacific Islander community and you're just not feeling that great these days, um, go easy on yourself and take your time and it's just, I think you're not alone in the sadness. If you're wondering on ways to support or how to be a better ally or because it's something that doesn't help when there's a lot of bystanders just watching and they tell themselves that it has nothing to do with them, I'll put some links in the description. Uh, that I think are really great. For this video, I'm donating all the ad revenue to that cause too, so. <sighs> so yeah, sorry to end on a sadder note, but I also think it's important to acknowledge the reality of the world too. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>